<laughs> so she went from... No! Who do you think likes the other more? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back. Um, we're back and we said we would be, but now that we're at home and we're in the living room chilling, we could introduce you to our unknown little thing that we've got here. She's not so little anymore though, is she? She's saying little, but she's not she's little. She's not little anymore, is she? Come, come on. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we got another dog, we got a puppy. Well, I mean, she's still a puppy as far as age goes, but she's a big girl. She can be bigger than Mila. They're already nearly the same size. When we first got her, she was the same size as Murph. So- And this here, they've not seen him since he was little either. Oh yeah, Murph's a big boy now. Murph's grown. Yeah, since last time we spoke, there's also some other stuff that's going on um, that's kind of shaken up our plan a little bit. We said we wanted to be back on YouTube a lot, back to creating more content more consistently. But that's gonna be interesting with the new news that we have been given. I have to leave the country. Well, I've been here for like a little over a year, half and I, we've been kind of milking it. Tonight's my last night and tomorrow I'm flying back to Minneapolis. But on a brighter side of things, she's gonna come out to Minnesota for Christmas and be my family for the first time. And you only been to the States, what, once? Yeah, once I did LA and Vegas um, a few years ago now, but like four or five years ago now. Yeah, so it was kind of some bad news for us, but it kind of changed our plans, but we're gonna go back for Christmas and make a silver lining out of it. So, so we're gonna have a couple weeks apart, but we're gonna be, you know, I'm gonna bring you guys along my journey of packing for America and what I'm gonna take away with me. Um, and get ready for our little trip out there and then plan loads of content whilst we are there. We just wanted to get you guys up to speed on that. And since it is the last night, we are drinking some wine and we are going to play a little card game. Uh, I got sent this really randomly um, a while ago in like- It's not an ad. A gift box, it's not an ad. Um, but we have played it before um, and we thought it'd be fun to play again. So a lot of the cards are like, they'll tell you to drink if you need to drink. But we've decided if you, don't drink and you pass, or for whatever reason skip the question. You take a shot. You take a shot. I but don't like the, JD. So but then the drinking, we'll just drink our wine. But we'll just drink our wine for the drink. You know we're real wine drinkers, so. We are. Anyways, you can go first, let's get it. Kiss. <laughs> I don't remember my lip gloss though. Oh. Okay. She has lipstick and shit on, and it's just like, we're at home. Like, so I'm sick, what are we and he's been refusing for? to kiss me for days, so... Like, we're at home, like, what you want? Anyway. Get that off, girl. Shame. I'm a bird. If <laughs> your drink into my mouth, let's do it. My drink into yours? Yeah, take a sip of your wine and then spit it into my mouth. Someone who wouldn't kiss me, just out oh yeah. I don't want to get this on the floor. Oh, so the white cream... Yeah, whatever. Blanket, it's let, fine. Let the dogs lay on it and play on it. It's probably... It's not that serious. This is way more serious. <laughs> <laughs> so to set the record straight, just to set the record straight, like when I hear in a song and someone's like, ooh, spit in my mouth, yeah. I'm like, that's so fucking disgusting. But, I know some people are into that kind of stuff. But that just felt like the right time, right place. Okay. I'm kind of feeling good about that as well. <laughs> Have you ever found one of my friends attractive? No. Sorry, girls. I'm not saying you're not attractive. You're just not attractive for me. Drink if you're the one with the best genes to pass on to your kids. <laughs> oh my god. Relax. I still think I've got great genes to pass on, so. Babe, you have amazing jeans to pass on, but this one says, the best. <laughs> All right, chug your drink. If you can't finish it, your partner will help out. Finish my drink, and if I can't, you have to help me finish it. Oh no, I can't. No, you definitely can. <clears throat> I can't finish it. Baby, I swear. You're supposed to help me with do tough times and that. Mm. Hmm. No, I'll do my best. The rules are the rules, though. If I can't help, do it. You have to help. What's something 
that you've seen me do that you wish you could unsee whilst you still finish your drink? Something you've seen me do that you wish you could unsee? I don't even know if I want to know. It's something that's happened to everybody at least once. And it's not, I haven't seen her poo yet, which is cool. I'm not trying, I'm not in a rush to see that. You're in a certain position behind something and you get up out of there and it does that little, you know what I'm saying? That's a little arrow. Everyone's been there. It's not like a, you know, I just wish I didn't have to experience that with like, you know what I'm saying? Anybody, but you, you know, it happens. That's, that's unpleasant. It's just, isn't that like a little awkward moment? I don't think it's awkward because I mean, I fart. Oh, I just picked up a card and whatever around you. You can say all types of stuff around about me. I about could. It. I could say a lot of things. <laughs> Who do you think likes the other more? Very controversial card. I think it's me. I think that we have our days. I have my days where I, I am more. I think bottom line. Who do you think likes each other more? I think there's days where I like you more than you like me. I think I like you more some days, and some days you like me more. Mm. It's not wrong, but it's also not the right answer for the question. This is a sticky one still. Okay, well we can move on. <laughs> okay, he had to top up wine, but we're back. What's the longest <laughs> we went without having sex? Us? Yeah. Or as individual people? No, what's the longest that you and I have went since being together without having sex? Like two weeks? <laughs> Don't you even fucking come for me, alright? I have sometimes I'm just not feeling it, okay? Already two weeks. No way, it's been two weeks though. That's Baby, really you long say time. I will like. That's I a really count, long time. I count. Two weeks the is days. a long time. I count the days and I. I throwing it's me under the bus. It's been over right a week before. Over a week, I can way make Way over a week. I put it on this man most days and he just doesn't go for it, but it's fine. Don't take it personal here. Like you just demanded the bus with that one, but you know what? It's all right. I'm not upset. Press up challenge. Who can do the most? Do we really need to go there? No, we don't need to go there. If we pass, we have to take a shot. He doesn't want to challenge me on the press up, so that's why. Maybe this is out of pure love and not wanting to press and out press you on camera. Okay. To be honest, I stopped drinking dark alcohol liquor when i stopped drinking hennessy because it's got too much sugar in you and we were all wondering all my, my friends and i were wondering why we were all getting these little guts because hennessy got so much sugar in it so fellas just know that but then since i came to the uk i've been back on this because they only really drink gin over here or vodka and the tequila options are but and they don't really have hennessy sitting around the way that they do other stuff anyways that's why we're on the jack daniels it'll loosen up some of your stuff that's in your chest as well Yes, just put it right down. I'm saying, I'm saying, my man, yo, don't leave me hanging. You about to just air me out like that, bro? I'm still. It just really makes your mouth full up. Make your mouth water, isn't it? Salivate. Salivate? Oh. Salivate, salivate. <sighs> Anyways. Why do I shiver every time I do a shot? You're not alone on that. Who else shippers when I take a shot sometimes? Shiver every time I take a shot. Biggest freak in the sheets, drink. There's a this. I wonder if there's like a, a diagnosis of what you have. <laughs> I'm not anything. There's no diagnosis. Cause she's really just on that. And I'm, I'm. Hey, it could be the opposite. I'd rather it be the way that it is. I thought before, like we met, we obviously had never been with each other intimately, but I thought it was gonna be the other way around. I'm not some little horny little. Guy. But I thought he was. Like, no one can it's, tell me that he doesn't give that impression. I've had my time in this world, yeah. But I think the difference is with men and women, men give that to, like, anyone, whereas girls, we save that side of us for someone that we're actually, like, intimate with. Anyway, girls, there's no diagnosis for enjoying sex, and there's no diagnosis for enjoying your boyfriend in bed. Can't lie, the camera cut off when she was getting ready to go in about how, you know, the girl, for the girls. I'm just saying, there's no judgment to enjoying sex, being a freak, like, as long as you're safe, and you're doing it with someone you love. Well, I mean... Consensually, there's no problem. You don't gotta love who you're doing it with, to be real. Yeah, 
I get what Rachel's saying. I'm all for it. Yes. If you're under the age of 21, yes, it does matter. So anyway, carry on. <laughs> the couples that gym together stay together. Drink. You know, we've been in the gym going so crazy. David Lloyd gang. But we do have Lifetime in Minnesota, which is great. Things I can't wait to show you. Now we work Imagine out. going all the way out to the States and the one thing you're excited to show me is a gym. Big part of my life, isn't it? A gym every day. Just being honest. Anyways, it's gonna be he nice. He has a personality, guys. It's not just the gym. At what moment did you realize you loved me? Da -da. Mm. Probably like the first week of you getting here. You hear that, boys? You could put in... Ten and a half months of real grafting. Yeah, because how can you probably know you love someone until you I can put in ten and a half months of real grafting to build something special with someone, and they still don't really actually proper feel a way for you until around twelve months. Of course, I had love for you, but I wasn't like in love to the point of like, okay, you got here and it validated everything, and then I was like, okay, yeah. That's a big one as well. In love with someone and just like loving somebody. I got love for you, but I'm not like yeah. in love with you, like. Yeah, that's a real one. That's real. That's real life. I appreciate the Minnesota fucking throwback jumper she's got on at the moment. Vikings are the number one team in the NFL at the moment. Very happy. And I've converted her into a full-blown Vikings fan. She bought this. This is hers. What's your partner's bra and or shoe size? Oh, I don't remember the bra size. It's a double something and it's bigger than D. I don't wear bras often, so you wouldn't actually know. Yeah, and I don't even care to look at your bra. Shoe size, though, I did just get you those dunks, and they were a little bit too small, and I think they were a five and a half UK. Is that the size that I got you? No. Is that too big? Yeah. That's... They were like a three and a half. That's the reason why I got mixed up, because I bought them thinking from American sizes. Which would be a five and a half. An American in, five in and a half. In the US. Yeah. See? A three is a five. Because I was thinking like just bait, straight off visual, I'm pretty good with feet. All right? Not because I have a fetish or anything like that, but I have a lot of shoes. And you look like, you'd be like a five, five and a half U.S. It's all I'm a six U.S. So, um, I guess I drink, huh? Fucking hell. And bro, I'm a 32E. Let's drink to sexting, hard times, hard times, quite literally. If you've done it, drink. We've actually never sexted. I think that shit's lame. That's a lot. Have I sexted in my life? Yeah, of course I have. But not with you. Man's out here got pixel mod misses on their phone No, still. I, no, not like that, but like, yeah. You got something you need to tell me? Hangover sex. It's either the best or worst idea ever. If you've done it, drink it. If you've done it, drink, not drink it. I would say my experiences from hanging up with sex is I always go into it thinking I feel like a million bucks. Afterwards, I'm somewhere hunched over a toilet talking about... I mean, going back to, like, drive, too. Like, you, I think you're more driven when you're hungover. That's interesting. No? Don't know. Like, oh yeah, still feeling dangerous. And then all of a sudden, like, I get worked up. And then all of a sudden I realized that was a little too much physical activity. That was a bit much. I'm sweating right now. Am I the most attractive person you have ever been with? Yeah. Yeah. If we're talking boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> this is not even for the camera. Are you still sulking? I was taking the piss. Of course, you're the most handsome person ever. And I've ever, ever, ever had the privilege. It wasn't even like the me. best in bed or any of that, or like tallest or like whatever, the strongest. It was like just these little bit of spades right here. <laughs> Most handsome. Yes, of course you are. And you talking about, we're talking about dating. So what, 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 what is it going It's okay because he probably feels the same Because the question wasn't asked to me, was it? <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't it. Mm. See, that doesn't feel good. It doesn't <laughs> feel good to feel that way. You know, I love you. So, I just, I'm a little bit hurt by that. What do you think is my worst? My it's my it? turn! You read that to me. Ah, see, sometimes, fellas, you gotta admit when you're wrong. <laughs> admit when you're wrong. I was wrong, baby. 
I was wrong. But I'm gonna keep this one because I like this one. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it. The burps and farts, are you the burper or the farter in the relationship? I'm the burper. Definitely burper. Let's slow do right here, bro. <laughs> uh, little nasty little burr. <laughs> but I can't talk shit because I'll be, I'll be farting. Yeah, he's the farter, so. I think burping's way more pleasant than... Well, for sure, because it's just quick, blow out the way it's done. And it's just gas from my throat. Like, it's not fucking from deep within me. Like, your fart size. Like, someone has died. Set up me. camp 10 years ago and has been dying there ever since. What do you think is my worst personality trait? Keep it clean. I've got a few, but. Don't hit me below the belt. Keep it clean. <laughs> Keep it clean. Oh, the spectrum of moods. And like your fuse is so short, so like he could be having the best day ever and it takes him putting on a sock wrong and then his whole day is bad. You can't lie. Like that is a that's bad not trait. This, that's not the case, but it do be things that are that little. Like, and I'm like, not that, like calm like, down, like the world isn't ending. I would agree. That's would not below the belt. I think that you could agree. acknowledge that. No, that was a below the belt comment, but you brought it above the belt the way you worded it. Drink if you said, I love you first. It was 100% you. But I knew what I was doing though. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> you, got red, you got red wine, do not. I'm saying You this. can't tell me that that was strategic. It wasn't a strategic thing, it was just me putting my pride aside and I knew what I was doing. I knew where it would get me if I just put my pride aside. <laughs> Imitate your partner's moan. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't get that card. Mine's simple. You're saying I put some character into this. Hold on. No, don't. Oh, oh my fucking god. I'm laughing more so myself having to make the noise. I'm really not going into detail, but you got the gist of it. <laughs> It's one of them ones. I hope like no one watches this that we care about. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> Flash me for three seconds. One, two. <laughs> she did it. It was real. Trust me. I might say they are like probably the best pair I've ever been acquainted with for sure. Massive, massive compliment. That's really great. What was the last sex position we did? You want me to say it? Cause I'm gonna say it real <laughs> nasty. You could say it if you too. So she I'm went, asking you. So she went from... No! No! You don't need to tell the story! She went from... That motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna abbreviate it so people don't have to get on board too quick. Reverse cowgirl. <laughs> that wasn't an abbreviation. I just figured I'd just say it. Well, I actually didn't finish this glass. I finished you did. a glass and uh, another. So I guess what two glasses? We had a of few wine. shots, a couple glasses of wine. Um, but yeah, that was fun. You guys found out some new stuff. Heard our opinions on some things. Probably two TMI. Probably wouldn't even ever talk about in real life publicly, but it was fun. I think it was fun. And you guys got to meet Marlo. This is my last night in the UK for. Month of yeah, next time you see him, we'll be in the States. Yeah. Um, but she will pick up and do some stuff with you guys. Um, yeah, we'll do some packing and leading yeah. up to that. I think that's pretty much it. And let us know if you guys like the game, if you guys liked watching us play the game, if you want to see more of this. I don't know. We don't know. We thought it would be something to kind of like just do this little activity to hang out. I think that's it. That's it for me. And so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on our post notifications. And we will see you again soon. Well, I will see you soon. He and will see you in a few videos. I'll see you in Minneapolis. In we'll Minnesota. See you, see you stateside. Bye.